Hello and welcome to another Ask Me Anything. Uh, today I have the pleasure of talking with uh, Felix and Joaquin. Uh, thanks for joining today. You're welcome. Nice to be here. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, show you the process on uh, how the Hero Academy uh, came into place and what you can actually do with the heroes, how you can like uh, train them or upgrade them and uh, how the flow will later look. And uh, in the next AMA later on, we will then show you uh, how it's looking in the game. So this is now from the concept side. As we are web free, we show you every step along the, uh, the way. So uh, yeah, we would like to start with uh, Joaquin on uh, explaining um, how you started creating the um, the hero uh, the hero academy and how it's looking. So uh, let me actually pull it up in the uh, in the stream. So uh, what are we seeing here? Okay, here you you see a building that is going to allow to uh, to create heroes uh, from the the Turkish fight, the Hayid uh, faction. So we we'll start for with a basic uh, shape, but it looks like the center of the building, a shape that looks premium, some, something that is good, it looks uh, appealing for for that uh, for that matter. So the thing is, when we level up this, we have the second, uh, where you see the, the, the main part of the building has kind of increased in, in, uh, in sizes as well, and it's kind of more, more fancy. And as well, we uh, ideally, we, we put a couple of uh, sculptures there on um, pedestals, that uh, it shows that yeah they are portrayed in the uh, the the heroes we want to to create or we want to use iconically just to say okay this building is for okay. hero production yeah cool and uh, the, that will be later in the town builder as well as the part of the the kahi tribe right exactly mm -hmm. you make a huge separation as well of what the are crusaders with the shape language and some uh things that reminds the, the, the multi-occidental uh, culture. But when we are tackling uh, uh, Turkish, we, we respect uh, whatever is iconic as well in this, uh, in this culture. That's why you see the, the shapes that remind. You see, for example, the windows and the doors, they, uh, they bring these uh, parts of the culture there. And as well, we've been very respectful, respectful using the statues and placing them that they uh, respect as well the, um, the value of the of the religion and the culture, the Islamic culture. Uh, how how does it work? Uh, how how do you build those uh, buildings? I mean, first you start with uh, drawing, and then later you put it in in, in uh, Unity, or uh, how does it work? Exactly. First of all, before we create a, a, a model of it, as you see there, there it has a very neutral light, one placed in the in the in the in the city uh, is gonna have a different light here, but now is allowing us to, to see the main shapes. But we start concepting uh, some, some ideas, just pencil work, just seeing how from one uh, first level, uh, what we can uh, work, rework, uh, change of place to do this kind of uh, sensation of more bigger or, or, or implementing the building. For example, you have here level one, we already have something fancy that it shows that this building is going to produce heroes. And as well, you see the second one that we put more details, like the sculptures, like those little um, uh, domes here on the tops, bigger mm. doors, and more space. If you compare the one on level one to level two, that it holds more uh, production of heroes as well. And we could place ever later, if you want animation, we could put riders, horse riders here and oh. create two of, uh, of horse riders. So from this side that you see just a uh, pencil, uh, pencil test until we decide to work on the buildings and we come up with something like, uh, like that. Eh? And after yeah. we put more, ideally more details just to dress them in and create more, more fancy structures. I'm already looking forward to seeing the little horse riders running around and everything, all those animations. Uh, but the community needs to be a little bit more patient because first we work on the, the concepts and the, the flows um, that we have everything right. And then later we add the animations uh, and take you along the journey and we'll also show you the, the stuff. Um, uh, Felix, so I so when the building is ready and it's placed in there, what are you doing before we have that? Because you cannot just like say, okay, now we have the Hero Academy, go in and train. Since you're the game designer, 
most likely you create the process and uh, I bet you can show it to us, right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite a long process and I will even focus on the second step. I can one sh time shortly zoom out. So first step is creating mockups like this that are really ugly. But <laughs> um, then we start working together with our UI artists and designer. So um, in this case, I can also present the flow. So like we have here a hero academy where the player would then decide to click on the icon for the hero. Mm. This would open up this screen where players can train new heroes. Here are some notes because on those boards, we're also communicating with developers and artists and design. We are collaboratively working and then making notes like, hey, I see this is uh, going to improve. So try to ignore those notes. I actually uh, like to read those from time to time. And uh, also, like, uh, we've just been in an art meeting as well uh, where we have discussions and then people say, like, hey, you should change that. And why don't we put it on the left side? I, and I think that's actually showing uh, how you guys are, like, continuously working on the stuff. I, I already, I, I love it. Yeah. Um, so what you see here on the screen is, sorry for looking into a different direction, I have it on a different screen. Um, so is that you have one area where you can recruit a new hero, um, where you, actually you wouldn't see the states here, but uh, see chances like of getting a special ability, uh, ranges for stats, um, and then you can decide to click on train here it's written level up because it's a mock-up screen the text is would oh. be adjusted and uh, then it would start uh following the blue line that you have training time running for your hero oh. and you have to wait it will take time um probably multiple hours maybe a day we're still trying to find a sweet spot for this, mm. um, when it's done, you will see an icon that is indicating, hey, your hero is ready. And uh, then you can decide to claim it. And you see new hero received, see which special abilities the hero yeah. got, what the real stats are. And something that we will introduce later, um, the lineages, um, which one you have used. And have benefits uh, on it. those will be NFTs, right? Those will be NFTs. Heroes are going to be NFTs um, and therefore also tradable on the blockchain. Mm. Um, we are strongly believing that uh, this is something that is really valuable to be on the blockchain because mm. you have those random things on which abilities um, will the hero have? What are the stats? And based on that, um, you can be very lucky uh, mm. already right on the start to have a hero that is having the most uh, liked abilities and additionally uh, high stats. And uh, then you have something very valuable. Mm. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> Everyone wants it, <laughs> but mm. it will be a gamble. Yeah. And the, the heroes' so stats uh, and abilities will be randomly and tracking the the heroes they will be uh, designed by your team right so right. we will have different sets of uh, of heroes right exactly we'll have uh, uh infantry as the one you see uh, right now on this uh, this screen that uh, felix is showing we will have archery as well and we'll have cavalry so uh, and... cavalry not no cal heroes will be infantry and archery only okay, this i didn't oh, no. well, Okay, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, the yeah. that's, the, that's the idea. Yeah. And actually, we want to try that um, the visuals are also generated randomly. So also appearance like name and uh, flavor text, everything should be randomly generated per hero so that they are as unique as possible. Yeah, that's cool. So maybe you get lucky, get a real cool looking a hero with a nice name and cool stats or you get a yeah so basically similar to minting uh an nft and then uh either you you are lucky or you're not lucky uh, okay cool 
And uh, what happens next? Um, so afterwards, you will use your hero um, in your armies and send them out to fight, uh, do missions for which they will gain XP. Mm. And when they are having enough XP, um, then they are ready to level up. So you will be able to say level up. And now I have to check where is, yeah, it's, you would see like ranges on mm. how stats could go up on a level up. Mm. And then you follow the flow again. You start, okay, level up. It will take time until the level up is done. You can see, uh, see it as a training time. So the mm. hero is experienced enough to do more training and become better. And again, in the end, you will collect uh, the hero afterwards and then. Mm. And I can use the in-game currency silver to speed up that process as well, or? Yes. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, uh. That's great. And uh, um, the special abilities, they are also randomly placed, right? They are randomly um, given and randomly leveled up. So we have mm -hmm. two dimensions. One is getting a special ability, and then the next uh, step is getting a higher level of the ability. Also, we have rarities for the abilities. So there are abilities that are more common, um, like uh, that a hero, when He's used as leader of an army that your infantry units are doing more damage, an example. But there will also be special abilities which are super rare, like um, every attack of a hero will kill an enemy unit. Mm. So okay. uh, yeah. that would be one of those very rare abilities, but you want to have them. Does the the tier land that I own uh, have an influence on the on the stats as well of the heroes, or no? Only on the basically how much you gain on read wood or or. Um, so or... The influence is on the one hand at the level of your hero academy building. So the higher your hero academy building is, the higher your chances are for getting something and having higher stats. The minimum stays the same for everyone, so um, it's just we are increasing the chance of having something better. Mm. Yeah, so really cool. While you might have a chance of getting a new ability for 10% in the beginning, it might be later that it go up to 90, 95% of getting a special ability for your hero. Still, they could be unlucky and not having one. Yeah, most likely I will always be unlucky, but uh, let's see later on. Yeah, uh, really cool. Uh, I like it. Uh, so um, we are implementing this uh, uh, pretty soon in, in the game itself. Then we can show you also the, uh, the flow in the game itself, uh, including uh, some really cool visuals, which uh, uh, we are preparing as well for, uh, like you saw that Joaquin prepared for the... Um, um, for the Kahi town over here. Uh, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys how this one works in uh, in the future. Uh, is there anything you guys want to add? Uh... Yeah, the, I think when, when, when you, uh, the, the play, our players are seeing the screens as well with the images that uh, Felix show with the notes, that means that we need to be very under communication one profession with the other one because we want to make it fancy as well and see if we need to change some things to shift to something that looks better that the players can understand better we we try to work under the under the skin of the player so they can understand accurately what we are uh, telling them just not by the strategy of the game only but as well the visuals have to accompany and support all these decisions there so that's why there are so many notes I did that yeah. in this video the the players are seeing our communication how we make decisions and how we make changes and we uh, take it written notes that uh, allow us as well just to communicate better and, and make yeah. the proper changes yeah and, also, and if they... yeah go ahead also when we're having our weekly testing session after 
implementing something, uh, what happened last week was like, we see something is not really working fine. So I was spending the start of the week on completely redesigning parts of the hero and the unit recruitment flow. Hmm. So because we yeah. try to really give the best game experience and if it means, uh, okay, design has to do a, an extra week on something, then it is like this. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. Us well, you know, we, it's kind of back and forth. The thing is we want to present a really cool project and for that, we don't hesitate. We need to remake, rechange, playing again and again and and see if we need to tweak here, make some modifications to make it more fancy. So that's why yeah. Felix and, and as well uh, myself and the rest of the team are just collaborating together to achieve this. Yeah, I mean, the end goal is like, uh, as we always say, have a have a really cool game. Uh, so that's the, the focus on having a game and then it's supported by the NFTs on the blockchain and everything. But the gameplay, the visuals are the the key that we're looking to to improve uh, and therefore I like what you guys are doing so far and uh, where we're leading. Um, and uh, yeah, if the community has anything uh, that they see that where you want to get deeper knowledge in, uh, just let us know in the comments uh, or reach out to me on uh, on Discord or on Telegram, uh, then we can talk about it. And uh, yeah, uh, also suggestions are more than welcome. Um, Felix always likes to hear them, uh, I know, uh, and uh, Joaquin most likely as well, but I think the art is already perfect <laughs> in most oh, places right. as well. So yeah, uh, let us know in the comments and uh, yeah, then uh, uh, see you on the next uh, AMA, hopefully soon. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't have it here, but I, I'm with yeah. Evil Empires themed everywhere as well. <laughs> yeah, all right, then thanks and uh, have a nice day and uh, see you soon, guys. Thank you so Thank much, you, Luke, and yeah. uh, thanks to the community for being happy with us and staying with yeah. us. Exactly. Okay.